<laughs> well, thank you very much. Um, I always say that this is a, a night that I, I never forget. I mean, I've been a fan of daytime for so long, even before I was on The Bold and the Beautiful. And even though it is my third win, it's, it's still always an outer body experience, no matter what. And it was incredible too, Torsten K won before me and it's sad that he's not here, but, and then to have John McCook, who I love, they're like family, be up there and announce my name, it's, uh, it's pretty spectacular. So it's something that I, I don't think I'll ever get tired of. What a great honor to have. Really is. Yes, edition. yes, that's why I wanted to say, I, I still, it's such, the 50th anniversary, it's spectacular, such an accomplishment. What was on my reel? Let's go back. Um, it was it was uh, when Steffi lost Finn, uh, uh, the she uh, Sheila, in Monte Carlo. A little bit of Mar a little bit of Monaco, but it was uh, when Steffi woke up and found out that uh, her husband had died, and then she got the memory. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's kind, of, it's kind of hard to go back because of the strike and everything, and you're like, what was that reel? But, <laughs> but it was, it was definitely the uh, Kimberlyn, Kimberlyn Brown, Sheila, uh, Tanner, who plays Finn, and myself. Number three, I know. It, 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 it's just a shock. It's a complete shock. I was still in shock that Torsten K won. I mean, rightfully so. He's, he's such an incredible actor, and I learned so much from him. But yeah, to know that he wasn't there and then Brad ran up and did a wonderful speech. And then of course he was doing, I'm sure interviews in the back and it just all kind of happened so quickly. And and, and that's Don, that's uh, Don Diamond, everyone. That's Don Diamond. he's the biggest man. <laughs> oh, he's, he's wonderful. Um, but yeah, it's always, uh, you, still, you still get nervous. You still do. What, what is the character of Steffi, not Don? Think it's still like to explore. Oh my gosh, I don't know what Steffi hasn't done. Brad Bell has been so giving and wonderful, and I never know what Steffi is up to next. I, I turn the page, and I'm always excited to see what, you know, Steffi is just, uh, as you know, she's she's determined, she's strong, but she also has a heart of gold, like Susan Lucci said. <laughs> Pardon? Uh, I will put this uh, very high on the shelf uh, with my two others, also because I don't want our children to climb up there and <laughs> get them. Brad Bell, yeah, <laughs> love you. Yeah, they, it's it's an awesome awesome group. I I'm I love you. Very very grateful. I always say I wish I could bring the viewers to our set because the energy is just so wonderful. It's, you smile, you laugh, and like I said, I've been on the show, what, 15 years now, and it's something that, like, I, I just, I'll always be, I'll always be grateful for. <laughs> I know we have to, we have to tune in on Monday, but it, uh, Finn, Finn ends up saving Eric, that's going to get her some big brownie points. Uh, yes, let's hope. I mean, John McCook has been, he's been wonderful in these scenes, and, and they're emotional scenes, it's not just... And they're not fake tears, they're real tears. The things that John McCook is saying, it's just, he's just existing in those scenes that we're all just so present with him. It's, I, I hope there's an Emmy for him next year because it's just been such a wonderful storyline and I'm really hoping he pulls through. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I really am. I know, don't mind me, I'm, I'm still I'm lost for words right now. It's, so, it's still so shocking, but thank you so much. I will, but Mama's got to dance now, so I'm going to go out first. I'm going to enjoy. <laughs>